Now, the SpaceX Starship World's biggest rocket, it successfully blasted off from Texas on Thursday evening. However, it exploded during its first flight. The uncrewed rocket blew up four minutes after it blasted off from Starbase. Despite the failure, SpaceX and Musk, the founder and CEO of the private space company, declared it a success, calling it a successful failure formula. Musk wrote on Twitter, I'm quoting here, Congratulations to the SpaceX team on an exciting test launch of Starship. Learned a lot for next test launch in a few months. NASA chief Bill Nelson also congratulated SpaceX, saying every great achievement throughout history has demanded some level of calculated risk because with great risk comes great reward. Thousands of space enthusiasts witnessed the launch of the most powerful rocket. Some traveled from different parts of the country to do so. I actually got a little bit teary-eyed, uh, you know, this is, we were being told that this is the most powerful rocket to take off, and the minute it took off, you definitely felt it, you felt the power, you felt the noise, so very pleased, very, very good, you know, experience to have been here. I was excited, I mean, I had of, uh, I've seen a lot of launches, but this one was special. I mean, I actually got a little shaky right before it launched. It's uh, quite incredible that it did as well as it did. I'm not sure what the outcome of the whole flight was, but uh, it was definitely incredible. A dramatic video captured the launch and the spectacular aerial explosion of SpaceX's new Starship rocket minutes after it soared off. Rather than seeing the fiery disintegration, experts said that the dramatic loss of the rocket ship would help accelerate development of the vehicle. This is a classical SpaceX successful failure. So one of the things that is a hallmark of SpaceX uh, during my time there and makes it very different from traditional aerospace or what we did at NASA was this embracing failure when the consequences of failure are low. In fact, when beginning to design something new, uh, it's it, it you look for opportunities to create uh, uh, chances to fail even spectacularly sometimes uh, early on and often so that you can learn as fast as you possibly can. So the next question is how was this liftoff supposed to happen and what was the intended mission? Now the plan for the integrated test flight was for the super heavy booster to separate from Starship after launch. Starship, which was six, which has six engines of its own, was to continue to an altitude of nearly 241 kilometers, completing a near circle of the Earth, before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean about 90 minutes after launch. Now, what exactly happened? After less than four minutes into the flight, its bottom half, the Super Heavy booster, failed to separate from the top part and Starship spacecraft began spinning out of control, leading to an explosion in the air. SpaceX stated that the vehicle experienced multiple engines out during the flight test, lost altitude and then began to tumble. Starship and the booster reached a peak altitude of 39 kilometers and a top speed of around 2,150 kilometers per hour. However, the failure is seen as a great lesson. SpaceX foresees eventually putting a Starship into the orbit and then refueling it with another Starship so it can continue on a journey to Mars or beyond. If Starship works, the rocket system will be used to take people. According to Musk, the eventual objective is to establish bases on the Moon and Mars and put humans on the path to being a multi-planet civilization. I think Elon's goal for getting humans to Mars with Starship, or at least sending an uncrewed Starship to Mars, was something like 2026 initially. That's probably very unrealistic. But with the pace at which SpaceX has managed to accomplish everything that they've done in the last decade, or even in the last five years, it wouldn't surprise me if we had humans on Mars with Starship in the next decade, maybe 10 to 15 years max. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.